Published 1313 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 15th of May 2018. Updated 1419 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 15th of May 2018. Ireland were left ruining this chances in their bid to become only the fourth side in 141 years of Test cricket to win after following on. When Pakistan slipped to 14 for 3 in pursuit of 160, the Irish were in with a sniff of marking their inaugural men's test with a victory to compare with any. But Andrew Balburny, who earlier in the game had made a pair, dropped Babar Azam at third slip off Tim Murtaugh shortly after lunch with 100 still needed. Ash heads dropped, and runs began to flow. Pakistan's Hassan Ali celebrates with the trophy after Pakistan's victory over Ireland. Pakistan clinched victory by five wickets after being reduced to 14 for three in Malahide by the time Babar was run out by Balburni for 59. He and Imam al -Haq, the nephew of former Pakistan great and current chairman of selectors in Imam al -Haq, had added 126. Soon after, the tourists were breathing a sigh of relief, as Imam, who finished with an unbeaten 74, completed a five-wicket win. 20 minutes later, rain was falling on Malahide, we were definitely worried at 14 for 3, but we were confident we had a good batting side, said Pakistan captain Sarfraz Ahmed. His team face England in next week's first test at Lords and are hoping fast bowler Mohamed Amir recovers from an inigo that troubled him throughout this game. Amal Haq is embraced by Shadab Khan after scoring the winning runs for Pakistan Ireland players celebrate the wicket of Asad Shafiq after setting Pakistan 160 to win earlier. Man of the match Kevin O'Brien had fallen without adding to his overnight 118 as Ireland were dismissed for a creditable 339 in their second innings. If we'd been able to get another 40 or 50 runs, that would have made it very tough for Pakistan's batsmen, he said. Ireland captain William Porterfield said, after those three early wickets, if we'd got another couple and broken that partnership a bit earlier, it was game on. But I can't fault anyone, Boyd Rankin is congratulated by Irish teammates after claiming the scalp of Horace Sue Hill.